Hello everyone, coming clean here. In this video, I'll be continuing my adventures through Skylar's Magnatures, where I use Skylar's of a certain animal type. In this video, I'm going to play through Scholarville, and I'll be using only dog or wolf Skylanders. Let's get right into it. All right, we are booting up Scholarville which I'm going to play using only dog slash wolf Skylanders. I am actually going to start off by playing with Funnybone and then we're moving on to Wolfgang and then Flare Wolf. Maybe you guys want to see the Senseis first and foremost because they are the most rare, I guess. I guess you want to see gameplay of those and maybe even want to hear what I have to say about them. But I thought that Funnybone, he is a trap team core and they were, those are quite quite rare too, and he has a really awesome moveset. Allow me to show you just a couple. He has this little hand that you can deploy, and if you deploy the hand, you can use his little roller attack that get enhanced if you roll through the hand. Here's just the regular version, quite slow. If you roll through the hand, you become much faster. And also his main attack is this disc he throws, and if you hold the attack, he starts chasing it <laughs> like a real non-undead dog. And if you release it before it hits, it an, becomes an AoE attack. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's engage these guys. Dropping of a hand, dropping of a hand, and roll through them. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that those spinning axe wielding guys are present in every Skylanders game. I'm gonna enhance the roll. Here we go. <laughs> I think it launches them too. And AoE. You have to release the attack before it hits. If it, this hits, it's too late. If it's just before, uh, yeah, I released late there. But that was not too late. And it does some decent damage actually. And we are playing on expert difficulty. Because I'm going to use, use senses first and foremost. Yeah, not that you need the trap team course for anything in particular, but I would actually recommend Funny Bone. He had quite some intricate moves, I have to say. You can only have one disc active at a time, but his other moves were really cool actually. Oh, the hand stops your enemies too, and it hits them. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, this is my first video in a couple of days. My week got busy with uh, IRL stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, I really want to push up more content like I've said before. But I did also occupy myself with a collaboration with you, with Victor from Saving Skylands. And I got a few new subscribers from that collab collaboration, a video that appeared on his channel. So if you're a new subscriber, who subscribed to me by after watching that video. Thank you very much. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my content. And now we're gonna switch characters. Okay, now it's Sensei's all the way to the end and we're beginning with Wolfgang. Wolfgang is a villain Sensei. He first appeared in Trap Team as one of the trappable villains. And there he used a melee axe attack as his main attack. And here he is a bow slinger. I have to admit, it does feel a bit weird. He looks like he's supposed to just jump up in his enemy's face and slash them with his claws, but that is not the case. Instead, he is a type of zoning character who really have to move around the battlefield and position himself and use long range attacks to be successful. Here comes the boss. So if you do this slide, you, as you can see you shoot three arrows out of it instead of one. And if you slide out of it, you leave an explosion where you just were. And his last attack is where he puts down speakers that keeps damages and pushes the enemies away. Maybe not this miniboss, but other smaller enemies. Let's see if it works on this little guy. 
No, not really. But he <laughs> he died before being able to be pushed away. I have to admit, I was sort of, kind of disappointed by Wolfgang at first when I realized what type of character he was, but when I started to level him up, because I did, because I think he, he looks really cool, he definitely grew on me. Now he's probably one of my favorite senseis, actually. And he, I like the way that his main attack is not just mashing. If you hold the attack, you make this arrow that's more powerful and go through enemies. And his last attack is to jump into the air and press the secondary attack. He makes this little rock concert that damages enemies. Now I am almost dying here. As you can see, you can damage, damage enemies almost everywhere on the map. He's really effective when you use him properly. So in this video, I am mainly comparing Wolfgang with Flare Wolf for those players who don't have one but really want a Wolf Sensei. <laughs> I guess it doesn't make a ton of sense buying a Sensei depending on what animal type he or she is. It makes more sense to buy them depending on what element they represent or what battle style they have. But if you really want a Wolf Sensei, I am here to help you out. Now we are actually switching Senseis. Flare Wolf is another favorite sensei of mine. His main attack is this rocket. They do decent enough damage, but you can't move when you fire them. And you also can't move slightly after firing them. It's not like the ninja battle class, but you can just move and fire at the same time. And he also has this very quick dash, which I've upgraded to leave some fireworks in his wake. And the last attack is this flamethrower. It also leaves you sort of immobile. You can move, just slowly. So, Fairy Wolf actually might come off as, uh, you know, rush down in your face, speedy sensei, but he really isn't actually. Even his dash does have some startup frames and some recovery frames. You can't really jump cancel it or something like that. So you really have to time it properly. And also the flamethrower is quite risky too against non-flinching enemies. As you can see here I've taken a lot of damage just by being a bit careless. Oh, I haven't shown off his last move. Here comes the mini boss again. If you hold the dash, you jump into the air, and from here you can rain down fire from above, which is pretty neat. We're gonna jump up into the air again. Position myself here move away again just preemptively you can't really use the dash on reaction it's too slow for that you really have to time it and know your enemies moves too as you can see I'm trying to stay away from these characters as soon as I can before you start using his powerful attack and here's chaos I need that meat Fun fact about me, I don't actually eat meat in real life. I've been a vegetarian for almost 15 years. Maybe not a proper vegetarian because I eat fish every now and then, but no chicken and no meat. Oh, I don't want to be hit by those rockets. All right, here I can lay down a barrage. This attack is quite damaging actually. But now we need to stop firing, because if I just keep firing, I won't have time to move out of the way, you see? <laughs> now I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. If I don't stop firing in time, I will get hit by those rockets. 
now I want to show some more uses of the dash. As you can see here, you need to dash away as soon as these reticles appear. Otherwise you will get hit. Because when I press the dash, I press it now and I move is almost uh, a second of startup. Which in fighting game terms will be 60 frames I guess, because I assume this game runs on 60 frames per second. Skyland is actually a game that runs really well. It's really impressive from a technical aspect. I'm actually running this on a base PS4, you know, the vanilla base PS4 bought on release. And this game runs really well actually, without any frame rate hiccups whatsoever. We have one more attack at Ninja Wolf. If you hold the ma main attack button, he makes this loop. Ah! Sorry about that. <laughs> you make his loop the loop. Ah! <laughs> okay, this was not a proper time to show that move off. Okay, one more time. <laughs> he shoots the rocket up behind him and jumps over it. And it does increase damage and increase AoE uh, damage, I think. I'm gonna surf down here. Let's see if I can complete the grind challenge. This reminds me every much, very much about Sonic games. Maybe not exclusively. There were some sections like this in the Ratchet and Clank games too. But I really like the Sonic game. I've actually started to experience the Sonic games about 30 years too late. For some reason I never got into the Sonic games growing up, even though I started becoming a gamer when those games were released. Oh, I missed that one. My next video will actually be a game, a video about a particular Sonic game. But more Skylanders content is coming too. Okay, we are now in the sewers for a final showdown with this sewer monster. This section is quite lengthy, so I'll probably skip ahead every now and then. And I also switch back to Wolfgang because I realized I talked uh, quite a lot about about Flare Wolf. Yeah, you can probably hear some music now because I'll add music in the background in the edit. But playing this level without any music whatsoever, <laughs> it becomes really bland, I have to say. Yeah, this first section is not that hard actually. This game overall, it can be quite challenging on expert difficulty and above, but it all depends on what levels your Skylanders are. I think that's one of the things I enjoy about this game, about these games overall. For example, if you want to play with the core Skylanders from Spice Adventure in the Magnators, you could. They are very weak, but you could just crank down the difficulty and you'll probably be fine. Speaking of difficulty, I just increased the difficulty a bit for myself because I did some mistakes off the camera in the platforming section. But I should be fine here. This may, might add some pulse to the video. Okay, just, just briefly engage the topic of the video. Which wolf sensei should you buy? I guess it depends really. I. To me, it's almost like 50-50. To the average player, I think that Flare Wolf might be the flashier, cooler sensei. But he is also more rare. For example, if you could get Wolfgang for $20 and you have the option of buying Flare Wolf for like $50, I think it's a no-brainer. I think you should go for Wolfgang, for sure. Yeah, the voice actor who does Chaos's voice, he's a genius, brilliant. I'm assuming it was the same, the same actor for the TV show Skylar's Academy. As you can see, I screwed up platforming again. Let's see how this goes. Can I defeat him with the remaining health I have? Now everything goes a little bit faster. I don't know why I keep shooting at him. I can't damage him anyway. I have a bit of a mixed feelings about the sky cheese in this game. They look flashy, but it's like almost feels like cheating. And that's a dead evil sea monster. Sorry, defeated. All right, 
that was Scholarville from Skyrim's Imaginator using only dog and wolf characters. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll try to push out more of these sort of let's play videos because they take a lot less time for me to make so I can push out content more often. But of course you'll see more thorough edited videos as well, of course. But thanks a lot for watching. My name is Common Clean and I will see you next time. Take care.